So before today's video actually begins, I want to quickly shout out my first two patrons on Patreon. So thank you very much to Jeb Motorsport and Scott Wilson. You guys are both legends. So from now on, there's going to be a list of patrons on my end screen of every video. So if you are interested in having your name on my end screen or loads of other perks, make sure to click the link in the description and check out my Patreon. Tiers start from as low as £1 a month, but equally no pressure at all to get anything, just have a little browse, uh, and if you can give something, amazing, if you can't, no worries at all. And I love all of you meerkats no matter what, but without further ado, enjoy the video. Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. My name is Sir Meerkat, and welcome back to the Moto Meerkat channel. So you may remember I made a video about a month or two ago, I believe. Uh, so I went onto this website that's a Hunger Games simulator, and instead of doing actual Hunger Games characters, I changed it so that it would instead be Formula One drivers. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll make sure to leave a link in the description, and I'll stick an annotation somewhere. I always forget which side it is, but you can click it now and go and have a watch. And today, I thought I'd do something similar, but this time instead of F1 drivers, we're going to do F1 YouTubers. I want to say just before I start, uh, I'm sorry to anyone that I haven't included in this list. There's obviously only 24 spaces and it was very tough to whittle it down to these 24. So I just did it off YouTubers that I enjoy personally and ones that I know other people enjoy and ones that you guys stipulated that you definitely wanted to be included on my Instagram and my Twitter, which if you haven't followed yet, it's at Moto Meerkat on Instagram and at Moto underscore Meerkat on Twitter. So let's have a gander at these YouTubers. Now I haven't put nicknames like I did for the F1 drivers because I feel like they're sort of so out there we can take the piss a bit. But I felt with YouTubers like these are people I know and especially some people that I don't really know. So I felt a little bit bad taking the piss out of them if I didn't really know. The links to their channels will be in the description so make sure you click their links and drop them a cheeky sub. So yeah, as I said, let's have a look at the list of 24 YouTubers. So for District 1, obviously we've got myself and we've also got my good friend Tomo F1, the Alpha Tori Livery Hater. Yes, Tomo, I'm going to continue pronouncing it like that. I don't care. Then District 2, we've got Cranky Yankee, the American. Ugh. And then uh, we've got Aldas, who's a decent lad and a pretty good Gordon Ramsay lookalike. And for District 3, we've got Josh Ravel. Yep, that's how you pronounce it, everyone. Make sure you remember that. And then we've also got the F1 Masturbate Show. Then we got the F1 Word, who's now Netflix famous, so I don't think I'm ever going to be able to talk to him. And then his sidekick, Jaunty's Corner. District 5, F1 Fanatics. Just lovely, lovely lads. And then we've got TGS F1, another lovely boy. Then for District 6, we have Apex F1, a newbie on the block who makes great videos. And then Kids Love F1, who is a good bloke. And I know he's watching. Hello, mate. Then District 7, F1 slash E Reviews, who was recently on trending. So fair play, fair play. Well done to that, mate. And Alex Zafro, who's having a bit of a YouTube resurgence at the moment. So welcome, buddy. Then District 8, we've got the Karting Boys. Everyone loves their videos. Super GT and Jimmy Broadbent. District 9, we've got the Late Breaking Lads and and into the barrier who was highly requested to be in this list as he wasn't before but now he is so don't worry I listen to you guys and he's here then district 10 the Veloce esports boys we've got Arava and Tiamat Marduk then district 11 two other smaller youtubers we got Raz on F1 who's a lovely bloke and then we got JWF1 who's another newbie but good lad makes solid content and finally for district 12 Two more of the bigger ones. We've got WTF1, who are obviously a very, very large channel. And then Chain Bear, who's got the analytical mind to maybe suss out the competition. So we all proceed into the cornucopia. So for the first part of the story, we've got the bloodbath. All 24 participants are alive. Who do you think is going to win? Let me know down in the comments before the video starts. And let's have a look. <laughs> JWF1 clutches a first aid kit and runs away. Aldas runs away from the cornucopia and so does 
Apex F1, the little pussies. F1 slash reviews, grabs a shield, leaning on the cornucopia. So he's being stealthy, he's defensive. Oh, I like that tactic. Oh, then I run away from the cor cornucopia as well. I was calling them the pussies, and I'm the pussy as well. And along with me, into the barrier, also runs away, so at least I'm not by myself. Tiamat Marduk bashes kids love F1's head against a rock several times. That's not very fair, he's a kid. Tiamat Marduk, you're a horrible man. Late breaking, snatches a bottle of alcohol and a rag. I don't know if that's to drink or or like to pour on a rag and then like suffocate someone, I don't know, but a bit scary. <laughs> oh no, I think that's, well not our first death, obviously we have Tim and Mono going crazy, but Jimmy Broadbent accidentally steps on a landmine. That's the only way Jimmy could go, let's be real. <laughs> Cranky Yankee also runs away from the cornucopia, and I'll just class WTF1 as Matt Gallagher. So Matt Gallagher grabs a sword. F1 Fanatics boys run away from the cornucopia, along with TGS F1. Jesus, Raz on F1 severely injures the F1 word puts him out of his misery blimey that is ruthless from you there Raz also go for the big boys fair play and John T grabs a backpack but doesn't realise it's empty. What a silly, silly boy. The F1 debate show also runs away from the cornucopia. And Super GT also snatches a bottle of alcohol in a rag. How much alcohol is in this cornucopia? And Chain Bear, another person to run away from the cornucopia. I think we're learning that F1 YouTubers are all just massive pussies. Oh, hold on a second. We've got a little bit of a pact going on. We've got Josh Ravel, Alex Zafro, Arava, and Tomo F1 sharing everything that they've gathered before they run. Not sure how I feel about that one. So moving on to day one. Raz on F1 practices, Raz on F1 practices his archery, getting his hand-eye coordination in there. Aw, TGS F1 tends to Matt Gallagher's wounds. How sweet. Apex F1 goes hunting, blimey, he's not waiting around, is he? Tomo F1 defeats JWF1 in a fight, but spares his life. Tommy is so kind. Alex Zafro receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. I wonder who that could be. Into the barrier discovers a cave, whilst Aldas searches for a water source. And it seems the F1 debate show's already found a water source because he's there fishing. Definitely something I can imagine Jordan and Lyle doing, to be fair. John T's Corner and the F1 Fanatics boys have seemed to form a little bit of a pact. They're hunting for other tributes together. Oh my goodness, the late breaking boys have defeated me in a fight but they've spared my life. Thank you so much, boys. Cranky Yankee receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Tia Mamada camouflages himself in the bushes. Josh Revel and F1 E... Oh, I should really pronounce it correctly. Josh Revel, apologies, Josh, and F1 slash E reviews work together for the day. Chain Bear receives clean water from an unknown sponsor, while Super GT also searches for a water source, and Arava discovers a cave. I wonder if it's the same cave that Into the Barrier is in. So the fallen tributes after the first day are Kids Love F1, Jimmy Broadbent, and the F1 Word. So into the first spooky night. Late breaking thinks about home. Aw, they're all missing home. Oh, bloody hell. Got a bit of a romance going on. Super GT convinces Aldas to snuggle with him. F1 slashy reviews loses sight of where he is. Poor lad. Oh, and another little romance. JWF1 convinces Cranky Yankee to snuggle with him. Arava receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Into the barrier accidentally detonates a landmine while trying to arm it. It's gone the same, it's gone out the same way as Jimmer. Tiamat Marduk is awoken by nightmares. Poor lad, he needs someone to snuggle him. Bloody hell, Matt Gallagher spears Chain Bear in the abdomen. Oh, heavy. Alex Afro tries to sing himself to sleep. Um, I'd probably go and say he might not be the best singer. Jotty's Corner defeats the F1 Debate Show boys in a fight, but spares their lives. F1 Fanatics tends to his own wounds, and so does Apex F1. He's trying to treat his infection. More fights going on. TGS F1 defeats Raz on F1, but spares his life. Myself and Josh Revel talk about the tributes that are still alive, or... We're so gossipy, aren't we, Josh? And then Tomo receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Who are all these people giving them free stuff? Moving on to day two. Blimey, Alex. Alex has gone and left Matt Gallagher to die with severe injuries. Goodness, ruthless. JWF on, has a cheeky bit of fishing. No! <laughs> no! My teammate, Tomo F1. He's got, he's got suicidal. He can't take it anymore. He begs the F1 debate show guys to kill him. And they reluctantly oblige. 
and kill Tomo. No, he's gone. Apex F1 has pricked my thorns while picking berries. Oh, me. <laughs> That's weird. That is weird. We're both teammates. I also apparently have given up and I've begged late breaking boys to kill me, but they've instead refused and I'm still alive somehow. Oh, Tiamat Marduk falls into a pit and dies. Cranky Yankee's on the hunt for some other people. Oh, no. They've turned on each other. I swear they were teammates. TGS F1 attacks F1 Fanatics, but he manages to escape. Well done, the Fanatics boys. Aravas also on the hunt for some other tributes. John T's corner gets spooked by Razel on F1 and legs it. Another little pack going on. Josh Ravel, Super GT, and Aldas hunt for some other tributes. And then F1 slash E reviews thinks about home. Aww. So now we have our first arena event. Acidic rain starts to pour down on the arena. That would hurt, wouldn't it? Oh, <laughs> Oh my goodness, how mean! TGS F1 refuses to allow Raz F1 into his shelter. And that means that Raz F1 just died. Bloody hell. The F1 Debate Show boys injure Josh Revel and leave him in the rain to die. How heartless. Cranky Yankee manages to survive though. And F1 Fanatics injure John T's corner and leave him in the rain to die. But Aldas and JWF1 both survive. Oh no, Apex F1 trips face first into a puddle of acidic rain. It's a good way to go. Super GT is unable to find shelter and he dies, but F1 slash E reviews, Arava and myself all managed to survive. Alex Apro also trips into a puddle of acidic rain and the late breaking boys are unable to find shelter and also perish. So a hugely long list of fallen tributes 12 for the second day. That's massive. That's over half the people competing have died on day two. So I think that's the side, isn't it? <laughs> Fallen tributes are Into the Barrier, Chain Bear, WTF1, Tomo F1, Tiamat Marduk, Razon F1, Josh Revel, John T's Corner, Apex F1, Super GT, Alex Afro and the Late Breaking Boys. Huge, huge, huge news. And we move on to night two. Aldas manages to receive clean water from an unknown sponsor. Cranky Yankee cooks his food before putting his fire out. Fair enough. TGSF1 questions his sanity. Well, yeah, after leaving Raz out in the bloody rain, you should be questioning your sanity. I'm awoken by nightmares. Oh, I need a little snuggle. JWF1 climbs a tree to rest. F1 slash E reviews also cooks his food before putting his fire out. F1 fanatic thinks about home. Oh. And F1 Debate Show also questions his sanity. You should be, mate. And Arava's also working by nightmares. Maybe me and Arava can have a little bit of a snuggle. Now we move on to the feast. So the cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the tribute's families. I have decided not to go to the feast. I'm not sure why, but I haven't. Oh my goodness, big gagging up going on. F1 Debate Show, F1 Slash E Reviews, F1 Fanatics, Cranky Yankee, and Araba track down and kill Aldas. Poor bloke. TGS F1 also decides not to go to the feast. Interesting. And JW F1 falls into a frozen lake and drowns. No, we've lost him. On to day three. <laughs> Blimey. F1 Debate Show shoots an arrow into Cranky Yankee's head. I've managed to receive clean water from an unknown sponsor. Cheers, mum and dad, I guess. F1 Sashi Reviews searches for firewood. Araba picks flowers. Oh, how sweet. F1 Fanatics boys explore the arena. And TGS F1 collects fruit from a tree. So the full attributes from day three are Aldas, JWF1, and Cranky Yankee. On to night three. TGS F1 receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. And F1 Sashi Reviews attempts to start a fire, but he's unsuccessful. F1 Fanatics passes out from exhaustion. Poor boys. And myself and the F1 Debate Show guys sleep in shifts. We've got a little bit of a pack going on there. And Araba starts to question his sanity. I hope you're doing all right, mate. On to day four now. TGS F1 again collects fruit from a tree. I guess he really enjoys fruit. F1 Sashi Reviews searches for firewood. I have overheard Araba and F1 Debate Show talking in the distance. Maybe this is another little pack going on. And then F1 Fanatic boys managed to injure themselves. How have they done that? I just want to quickly say, as we move on to night four, I did not think I would make it through this far. So TGS F1 Trap kills 
F1 Debate Show. They're gone. See you later, boys. Arva sets up a little camp for the night. Ferocious F1 Fanatics boys shoot a poisonous blow dart that they've somehow made or found into F1 slash E Review's neck, slowly killing him. And I managed to start a fire. I would have absolutely not idea how to start a fire. On to day five, F1 Fanatics have stolen from me while I'm not looking. What's all that about? And TGSF1 manages to sprain his ankle while running away from Arva. So the fallen tributes of day five are the F1 Debate Show and F1 slash E Reviews. On to the fifth night now. This must be getting scary. I tend to my wounds. Don't know how I've managed to do that. And then F1 Fanatics throws a knife into TGSF1's chest. And Arava tries to sing himself to sleep. Again, another one I definitely don't think has a good singing voice. Day six, Arava injures himself. I discover a cave. I don't know, that's so amazing. And F1 Fanatics sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. And we've just got one fallen tribute for day six. It's TGSF1. Onto the sixth night now, Arava tends to his wounds, and myself and the F1 Fanatic boys are all holding hands. How cute. I travel to higher ground, whilst F1 Fanatics receive clean water from an unknown sponsor. And oh no, Araba has died from hypothermia. That means it's down to the final two, and it's me versus F1 Fanatics boys. I cannot believe that. Then for the final arena event, Monkey Mutts fill the arena, and F1 Fanatics dies from internal bleeding caused by a monkey mutt. And you know what that means? I've only got a done it, boys! I've got a one! I swear on my life that this is not scripted. The, the website's completely random. I just put in the names and the pictures, and it does it randomly. I can't believe that. That is actually so mental. Well, I mean, at least it proves that I'm the number one F1 YouTuber, which um, I think we all knew that anyway, let's be real. So we'll have a cheeky little look through the placements. We'll go from last to first. So we got Kids Love F1 in 24th place, Jimmy Broadbent in 23rd, F1 Word in 22nd, Into the Barrier in 21st, Chamber in 20th, WTF1 or Matt Gallagher in 19th with a kill, fair play, then Tomo F1 in 18th place, Tiamat Marduk in 17th with a kill, Razon F1 in 16th place with a kill, Josh Revel in 15th place, John T's Corner in 14th place, Apex F1 in 13th place, Super GT in 12th place, Alex Zafro in 11th place with a kill, Late Breaking in 10th place, Aldas in 9th place, JWF1 in 8th place, Cranky Yankee in 7th place with a kill, F1 Debate Show in 6th place with 4 kills, F1 slash /E, E Reviews in 5th place with a kill, TGSF1 in 4th place with 2 kills, Araba in third place with a kill, F1 Fanatics in second place with four kills again, and then Moto Mirka in first place, and I didn't even get a kill! I didn't kill a single person, and I still managed to win this. So yeah, wow, I, <laughs> I'm still absolutely shocked, I can't believe I managed to win. I know you're going to say it's fake, it's all staged in the comments, but I promise you that it isn't. But anyway, well done to everyone that took part. I hope you all enjoyed watching yourself kill each other, I guess. A, a bit weird. But yeah, I, it was very fun to see who would kill each other and just absolutely maim each other, slamming heads into rocks. This F1 community is ruthless. But yeah, I hope you did all enjoy this little Hunger Games video. If you did, be sure to drop a like on it down below and let me know in the comments if you're surprised that I actually managed to win and who you wanted to win. And be sure to subscribe to my channel because I make motorsport content every Tuesday night and every Friday night. So there's no reason to not subscribe really. A big love to all of you Meerkats for supporting. Remember click the link below to check out my Patreon and I'll see all you guys later. Bye guys!